Welcome to Dartmoor, the home of the Dartmoor Pony. And welcome to Trail Adventures too. So I'm just starting off now at Holming Beam. So just over there is Fairdown Tour. This is a set of three of them, but there's only two you can see there. Fire at Dartmoor can be quite a wet place, particularly in the winter. You've just seen how tall that bridge is. I've seen that bridge completely covered with water. So here is their down tour. So I'm standing on one of the bear down tours, and the other one. There's three sets, there's Bear Down Tour there, and the tallest one just here with the flagpole on it is the tallest one. This is Bear Down again. And so you've got, if you can see the television mast there, that's North Hessery and Holming Beam, where I've just come from, we're down here. I'll try and point to these tours, but my finger's probably not pointing to the exact place, but that's Great Miz Tour there. Just a stunning, vast area of Dartmoor, 365 square kilometres on this stunning day. Just passing the other Bear Down tour. There. We're heading down in this direction towards the towards the Weir. Just see the weir there now in front, uh, letting the sheep drift away. There he goes, it's lamb. There he goes. This is the West Dart River that's just flowing down this way now. Flowing down through a valley, as you would expect from a river. But what the weir is doing is it's diverting some of the water across to a leet. It's a man-made watercourse, which is feeding water to various farms, reservoirs and what have you. On the left is your river, and on the right is your weir, is your leet. And the leet will be following more going along a more flat course along the contours, whereas the river generally flows down here. Weir is just about here. 
and if you're very crafty you can make the outline of the the leads that's carrying on almost along the flat just absolutely glorious today I wish for better weather just a little bit of breeze to keep you cool so that's longer forward tour there That's higher white tour. So in this direction you've got Post Bridge and this here is Broad Down and just below Broad Down is the waterfall where we were in last video. You've got your bear down. Long off a tour. Just a stunning place to be this. I just can't get enough how great it is here. Heading back towards Longford, so gonna skirt around that, then we're gonna head down into Wisman's Wood and down into two bridges. This is the start of Wisman's Wood. We'll just follow this little track just here that we've picked up. It's just a stunning very old woodland and if you look on the map of Dartmoor it refers to Dartmoor as being a forest which it was many moons ago and, and this is one of the three of the last woods on Dartmoor just incredible Enchanted woodland. And berries on this tree here. All the moss and the ferns. Just take all that in. It's just stunning. So peaceful as well. It would be even wonderful, more wonderful if uh, you could smell the ferns as I'm walking through here, it's just absolutely divine.
So we're now at two bridges and uh, on the, the main sort of central road that runs through Princetown and head back towards Holming Beam. I think that's quite cruel really to do that. I'll send in a complaint. Right, so let's see if you can guess what this is. Running all the way along there, along the contours, yeah, it's the leet we just talked about. We're just heading back now towards Holming Beam. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was a beautiful day on Dartmoor today. Um, it was, I was just trying to describe all the smells as well. There's different fragrances. It sort of felt very alpine for want of a better word to be out here. So. I uh, hope to catch you again very soon and thank you very much for watching and take care and goodbye.